What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. The way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now for the last week and a half, I've been teaching a public safety diver program here on our lake and I've got one of my students out now trying to locate a stolen truck here in the lake. Now this stolen truck is not something new. We've actually known that it's been here for quite a while. We use it for a lot of different types of training here in the lake, but I will link a video up here if you're uh, curious about how the truck got in the water go check out that video to make more sense to you but what we're actually doing today you'll see this buoy here in the water behind me and, and as you can see they just located the truck they just popped their smb there we're actually doing what's called find it mark it map it and that's one of the skill sets that a public safety diver has to do they've got to find an object they've got to mark the object and of course they have to map the object as well this is still a crime scene anytime a vehicle goes in the water so you've got to be able to map out that crime scene and that's what he's working on now now don't worry Worry. he's not down there by himself i've also got another public safety diver and a seasoned dive instructor with him uh, because i've got to stay up here and operate the vessel but that's what he's working on find it market map it and a lot of times i see public safety teams just jump in the water they get whatever it is out of the water and they don't think about preserving evidence and marking the crime scene and even doing a map of the crime scene for testimony purposes so that's what he's working on today i hope hopefully they're going to get some footage under the water for you just so that you can see what it looks like but yeah stay Stay tuned in the future if you are interested in public safety work, underwater salvage work, anything of that sense that we do, stay tuned because we are going to be hosting a week-long seminar of a multitude of classes that's going to help you get into underwater recovery work just like we do, and it'll help you earn a revenue as well. But guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to show you a couple little underwater footage from them real quick, and then I'll give you some final thoughts at the end of how you can get into training like this and how also you can earn a living doing it as well. Guys, before I take you underwater, I want to kind of explain what you're looking at here. So we've got two buoys. Obviously, this one is actually marking the vehicle. This was our reference buoy that we dropped in the water um, based off where, what we saw on sonar. So we tried to mark the vehicle first, and then, of course, the divers go down. Um, and it looks like they're a good distance away. In reality, they're not. This buoy system here is nothing more than about a three pound to a four pound weight, and it's connected to the rope system that's on the buoy. And then once you drop it in, it's kind of like a bass buoy if you're a fisherman, you'll understand what that is. And it just unwinds itself and then locks into position. So it looks like it's off, but you gotta remember, the current's moving this way, the wind's pushing it just a little bit, but the anchor system is locked in. So at the most, they were about 10 foot away from where we dropped the buoy system. And of course, they were able to find the vehicle very easily. Now they've got the buoy here, hopefully, marked on the front of it probably on one of the rear view mirrors and then of course they're towards the um, the back side of the truck itself so the bed of the truck and they're probably doing a map around it probably doing their 360 search to see what's there but there's a lot of things that we do in public safety diving that even here at the surface we can utilize these buoys to our advantage so we can actually create a map system here at the surface while they're mapping everything underneath the water I can actually be up here mapping it on the surface seeing the 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 distance say from the point all the way over to where that buoy is so I can actually map and get a lot of good information about how far that vehicle came uh, out into the waterway before it went down as well but I just wanted to show you that because there's a lot of stuff in the public safety class that you're going to learn about mapping a scene and we don't only have to map it under the water we also have to map it above the water as well 
So I'm going to walk you through the find it, mark it, and map it procedure. And this is what we do in public safety work. After we find an object on sonar that we feel like is our target, of course, we mark it from the surface with just a down buoy. A down buoy is nothing more than something we just drop in the water. It's an anchor system that goes straight down, and it has a buoy at the top. I'm actually going to go ahead and send in one of my other instructors. You're seeing things from his point of view from here on out. I'm not actually getting in the water with my student. Uh, this particular instructor is a seasoned instructor and he's a public safety diver and instructor as well. So he, he has a good idea of exactly how I'm wanting the student to perform his skill set while underwater. Now, they are going to go down on the drop line that we've placed here. This is nothing more than just a reference line. Uh, if we got lucky, hopefully we dropped it directly on the target. If not, they're going to have to actually perform a search, hence the find it part of find it, mark it, map it. Once they get to the bottom, if that is not the target location, then, of course, they are going to determine the best uh, search pattern based off what we saw on sonar and what the bottom composition is like, what other type of structures is down underneath the bottom. So as they descend down, you're going to start noticing that the visibility does change. They are starting to lose ambient light. And you'll also notice that uh, my instructor there is setting a timer. In public safety work, we work on very strict rules, and one of those rules is a 20-minute rule. That means it doesn't matter what your task is, you have 20 minutes to perform it or to come back to the surface. After that 20 minute, you get out of the water and the second group of divers will actually go in. And we do that, of course, for safety concerns. So my other instructor there was setting a 20 minute marker to let him know that, hey, we've got 20 minutes to get down there, locate this vehicle, uh, mark the vehicle, and of course, map it as well. And we're going to be using that time frame uh, as a valuation uh, tool for the student as well. But now that they're down on the bottom, my instructor is telling the student that he is just going to do a circle search, and they're just using a basic reel here, a basic spool system. Um, based off the visibility, I think he lets out about five feet, and they're going to do five feet increments. Now, they could have done either a sweep or a circle search here. I believe um, he had him do a sweep underwater instead of a full circle, um, just because we had the general idea of where the vehicle was located, and so they were able to use navigation navigational uh, headings to direct that search by doing a sweep instead of a circle. But you'll see here quickly he is only about 10 feet away. There you're seeing that he is confirming the signal that he has found the target and of course he is going to meet back up with his buddy or in this case the student. Once they uh, both reconvene over at the vehicle or the target that's been located, they are going to confirm that that is the target they were looking for, and they are going to go ahead and mark it. The way that we mark it, and you guys have seen this in plenty of our videos, he's simply going to take the SMB and shoot it to the surface. And that's what you just saw him tell the student there, take this SMB, shoot it up to the surface, and of course mark this vehicle. He's also pointing out to the student one of the best locations on this vehicle, of course, is the rear view mirror or the side view mirror here on the passenger side. And that just happens to be what we always mark on this particular vehicle during training. But you can use anything uh, to attach to as long as it's solid. You don't want something that's going to break free or break off, uh, especially during the salvage part of it if you are actually trying to raise this vehicle. But here he's telling the student, okay, go ahead, shoot that buoy up and attach it to the side view mirror here on the passenger side. And then, of course, they will start their 360 sweep. And what the student's job is here, he's found the object, he's marked the object, now he needs to map the object. And he's not just necessarily mapping the object, he is going to be mapping the entire scene. And if you saw briefly there, you could see the student had a set of slates around his wrist. And so he's going to be using those slates to take in a lot of different information. Here you can see the other instructor, he's actually checking the time, making sure that he is still well within his 20-minute time frame. And what... What happens if you don't get everything done within the 20 minutes? Do you abort? Well, yeah, you've got the object marked, um, and we we know where it's at. We can come up at the end of that 20 minutes, and the next group of divers can go down and just continue on with the um, the mapping project itself. And you're going to do this whether it's a vehicle, whether it's a body, whatever it is. You're going to find it, you are going to mark it, and you are going to map it. And the mapping is what we're seeing now. The instructor is just kind of overlooking or watching over the student as he does a 360 sweep all the way around the vehicle. He's looking for multiple two to things, identifying marks on the vehicle. In this case, he's going around to the uh, backside of it, and he is actually looking for 
the um, the tag he's going to document that he's going to come back up to the cab area he's going to look to see if there's any victims in the vehicle if need be he can do an arm sweep within the vehicle no more than that uh, or he can just uh, look through the window if it's clear enough in the case here that it is clear enough we can actually see in it and of course this is a, a vehicle that we dive on quite a bit so we know there's no victims in it but now we're getting close to that 20 minute mark so the instructor's going to signal it's time to go up and they are going to start heading back to the surface but that's it for this session basically in public safety diving one of the first three steps we do is find it mark it map it you are going to find the object that you're looking for you're going to mark the object from the bottom and then of course you are going to map it out for documentation purposes All right, guys, so there you go for public safety diving, or at least for this video here. We're going to get back to the docks now, but like I said, if you're interested in PSD work, check out the links below. Stay tuned for that week-long seminar that we're going to teach, and we're actually going to do it several times throughout the year, so you're going to have multiple opportunities to come out and take it if you're interested in it. But if you liked the video, big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.